right. Morning Brew is on for you today. Welcome to the program. I'm Larry Aarons. Aaron Muffaletto here, rocking some fashion from Runway Apparel. Oh, yes. Right. Yes, and I have this beautiful dress yes. that Dara set me up with today. Um, and we are lucky enough to have Dara and Stephen Keeter. Now, um, I'm not dressed in dressed to kill clothing today, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Stephen Keeter, you are the um, owner of Dress to Kill, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's a men's line. It is. Right. Yeah, we're a, we're a men's, uh, well, fine men's clothing store, mm -hmm. but our goal is to try to make it approachable for Albuquerque economy, Albuquerque gentlemen. Sure. You know, and it's all about who are you and where are you going. So we try to curtail those looks to the guy. Yeah. yeah. And Dara Ambrose is from Run Runway Apparel, and that is, that's kind of on the east side of town, right? Yeah, in the Northeast Heights, on the uh, corner of Academy in Wyoming. Yeah. And you just got back in town literally hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. From market in LA. I did. How um, was that? It was amazing. We were there um, from Saturday through um, last night, um, looking at fall styles. So we're Ooh. ordering six months out. So looking at pieces that um, you'll be seeing in August and September. Uh -huh. However, we were able to pick up some immediates and that's that is right out of the suitcase. Wow. For you. So, no yeah. kidding. Wow. <laughs> so I'm wearing some of the um, fashions for the fall yes. that aren't even out yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of bend your mind around and work that far ahead, but you yes. have to in your exactly. business, right? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. It, it's yeah. not only, you know, seeing the colors that are happening at that point in time, but really knowing your customer base. And I it's know true. Stephen is like that. Um, mm -hmm. And really knowing, okay, who would that work for? Yeah. yeah. By the way, do, have you known each other? As business people in, in the same kind of biz? No. Recently, yeah. yeah. More, more yeah. recently. More recently, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, but you do have more in common so than, than not, you, mm -hmm. even though you, 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 you're just a women's shop. And mm -hmm. Yes. Well, and, and it's small business besides. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so it that, is, that so. small business network is really important, especially in Albuquerque, sure. you know, in Santa mm -hmm. Fe areas. You know, so we, we do cross promotional stuff. We we work the fashion show angles. You know, yeah. We mm. we're even talking about doing some. Uh, you know, going to market and hitting up Vegas and you know showing yeah. each other some of the ins and outs and. Very well, nice. Yeah, so it's it's a good uh, you know it's a nice friendship definitely. So let's talk a little bit history about both of you. So how long have you each been around? In well, the biz. In the biz. <laughs> that's, that's almost embarrassing to say, but. Uh, I've really been slinging suits, is as we call it, in the business, um, <laughs> since I was about 17 years old. Oh, wow. You know, so over half my life I've been doing this, you know, almost 24 years now. Wow. wow. And uh, it's been great. I've had some really great mentors. Mm -hmm. You know, I had the gray hairs back then who are, you know, the wingtip wearing pinstripe suits, yeah. you know, yeah. polished and shined and on time. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, the, the, the old training that you just, you can't get this from anywhere. You know, you can't go to school for this type of training, mm -hmm. you know, fittings and, and some of these other, you know, Sure. details in the business yeah and all of your suits are tailored to that everything person. we do is tailored yeah that's actually yeah. one of the features is you know for most of our merchandise we, we actually include the tailoring yeah. so a shirt that needs the shortened sleeves you know suits that need to have that nip and tuck mm -hmm. you know everybody's a little different so why you know you know, why keep it to just one look for a guy, too, you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and, and just the tailoring alone can sometimes be the, the exactly. cost yeah. of another suit. Exactly. You know? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And, and not only that, you know, a lot of other places that don't include the tailoring, mm -hmm. they're, they're worried about missing the sale for fear that they're going to tell somebody how to tailor their suit correctly mm -hmm. and having that be the deal breaker, you know, in the tailoring costs. Because mm -hmm. if the tailoring is as much of the suit, then... Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Almost everything. Yeah, that's, that's well exactly well-tailored right. suit makes the man. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, and I think a lot of guys will, you know, when they understand that the that suit look, you know, the guy in a suit and tie, the whole thing, mm -hmm. when they realize that women look at men, like men look at women, mm -hmm. except you know, as far as a woman in lingerie is similar to a man in a suit. It has that same kind of panache, that same kind of turn-on effect, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and when more guys figure this out, then the happier they'll be. You yeah. know. No doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a good way to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much on target. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, Dara, the the line you carry now, you you specialize in women's wear that is affordable, mm -hmm. fashionable. Yes. Am I capturing the vibe here? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's what yeah. you set up the store to do. Very fashionable, and and again, taking that personalized service. So I was out at market and I was getting um, text messages. Do you find anything in Tiffany <laughs> blue? Can you, I, I, I'm really good friends with an events coordinator mm -hmm. and her colors are black, khaki and Tiffany blue. And she wanted some casual wear. So when they're setting up events and then dresses to wear at the events. Oh, yeah. 
Wow. So I was shopping on her behalf, which is really fun. I that's totally nice. love shopping. That is so, yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think that's why so many people love runway apparel because it is so personal mm -hmm. and it's not like so, I guess, standoffish or you're worried about oh, well, you know, I don't know if this is going to fit me. What, and you're, you'll be honest yeah. and tell people. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah we want that, you so. to feel confident in what you're wearing and yeah. feel beautiful. And to see that smile coming from somebody who's found the perfect outfit, that's the whole reason I'm there. So. Yeah. Well, we have models and we have clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and we have fashion show <laughs> coming up. Stuff to show. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It's next here on The Morning Brew. Uh, you'll see the latest styles right from market uh, on our stage next. Aaron and I will be right back with our guests right after this on The Morning Group.